We work a variety of roads, uh, namely Interstate 70, US 23, US 33, Interstate 71. After eight years as a state trooper, Highway Patrol Sergeant Kurt Beidelchi says what he finds each day on the roads may be surprising to you. They'll shoot heroin, they'll shoot heroin driving down the road, and they'll shoot it in rest stops. Um, you know, they'll snort pills, whatever contraband they're using, smoke marijuana. Just two weeks ago, troopers arrested a woman who showed signs that she was high on heroin and crashed into a school bus filled with kids near Dayton. So oftentimes if it's a user, it'll be a heroin user and they'll be using, you know, using heroin in the car as they're going back and forth. In fact, Crime Tracker 10 obtained surveillance video showing two men shooting up in a car right after a drug deal in a Grove City parking lot. It is a scene Lieutenant Mike Kemmer says plays out nearly every day. They may purchase it at a, at a local shopping mall um, from an individual they meet in another vehicle and then they may drive around the corner in the parking lot behind the building and shoot up right there. The bad thing about that is they're coming in here uh, to the metropolitan areas, shooting up, and then they're traversing the highways back home. The Highway Patrol says because of its stepped up efforts on the roads, it is taking in record amounts of drugs like marijuana, cocaine, prescription pills, and yes, heroin too. Specially trained drug interdiction teams include narcotics canines. Just put your hands on top of your head and interlace your fingers for me, okay? And Crime Tracker 10 found the number of drug arrests in Ohio is up year to year, nearing 10,000. So far in 2014, counties like Logan, Jackson, Muskingum saw numbers jump 15, 20, 30 percent. But look at Delaware County, 58 arrests in 2013. So far this year, that number skyrocketed to 115. That is a near 100 percent increase. Troopers say these arrests happen all hours of the day, but Crime Tracker 10 uncovered numbers showing the drug arrests start to spike every hour right after high noon. That's not all. This map shows which roads troopers are making the most arrests. Along US 23, you can see how the numbers go up the farther south you head towards Scioto County. Same story with US 33, where Union County saw only 38 arrests, but that number shot above 200 in Fairfield County. And how about I-70? Look at how the numbers nearly triple from Madison to Licking County. Are we seeing more people getting high on the highways? Um, we're seeing an increase. Some of the crashes that we're investigating um, are involving drug impaired drivers. Absolutely. Nothing in the car, man? No dope or nothing? You use? Yeah, I'll be When was the last time you shot? This stop along US 23 was quite typical for highway troopers. Both passengers uh, admitted that they shot up heroin as early as yesterday. I got a razor blade. Yeah, I'm zero nine, eight five nine. A couple of them. And after searching every inch of that car, troopers say they found several items of interest. During the search, we found some things that could be used for paraphernalia. There was no residue or anything that would have been that we would have seized or arrested them for. But what we did find was a stolen license plate inside the car. Uh, that was stolen out of the city of Columbus. For the Highway Patrol, this is just part of the job, searching every mile of Central Ohio roadways every day so you and your family are safe from people getting high on the highways. For Crime Tracker 10, Angela Ann, 10TV News.